What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Dominic Rich. And in today's video, I'll be bringing you 25 pre-arranged transfers that will be made official as soon as the summer transfer window opens or as soon as some of these players contract expires come June 30th. So guys, I want you to sit back, relax and enjoy. I'm going to be bringing you a lot of value. If you didn't catch the first three episodes, there's a playlist called Summer 20 Transfers. Go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description box down below if you're looking for the perfect gift for the football lover in your family look no more head on over to cardsplug.com slash dominic rich fc to get you one of these bad boys right here use the coupon code dominic rich fc to get yourself 15 percent off your orders all the links would be in the description box down below as well trust me you won't regret it first on the list guys we have fabian johnson leaving borussia munch and gladback on a free which means he will be looking for a new club. He's a former U.S. international. I don't know if he still, you know, have dreams of playing for the U.S. team. I doubt. And he's a 32-year-old left winger who joined Borussia Mönchengladbach back in 2014 from Hoffenheim. He will definitely leave the club at the end of the season. And since the restart after the coronavirus, he hasn't really been involved because he is currently injured the last time I checked. In 140 appearances for Gladbach, he scored 15 goals and picked up 19 assists. And if you ask me, that's very poor. Come on, you could have done a lot better. He was kept 58 times by the USA and only made seven appearances this season. So the fact that he is a free agent, he played for the US international team, he might end up playing in the MLS for the first time ever in his career. So all the best, Fabian Johnson. Next on the list is the big Greek Kyriakos Papadopoulos, who is a 28-year-old center back leaving Hamburg in the second division of German football on a free at the end of the season. He joined from Bayer Leverkusen in 2017. And who knows, he might just end up back in Greece, you know what I'm saying, for Olympiakos. He made a total of 51 appearances for Hamburg, but has only turned out a few times for the second division team. He is currently capped 29 times by the Greek national team. So all the best, Kyriakos Papadopoulos. Next on the list, I have to actually look at this name, is Pascal Steinvender, leaving VFB Oldenburg to Paderborn on a free. He's a 23-year-old German center forward, leaving the fourth tier of German football to the second tier because Paderborn will definitely be relegated from the Bundesliga this season. And in 21 appearances this season for VFB Oldenburg, the man has seven goals and nine assists. So Paderborn, they have picked themselves up a gem, okay? So all the best, Pascal Steinvender. You'll be in the Bundesliga too for the first time ever in your career. And hopefully you could be playing top flight football next season. So next on the list is Diego Contento leaving Fortuna Dusseldorf on a free. He's a 30-year-old left back who joined the club from Bordeaux in 2018. Contento is a former Bayern Munich player who won a Champions League medal with the club along with three German titles. And interestingly, for Fortuna Dusseldorf, he has only made one ever DFB Pokal over the last three seasons where he has been injured. You know what I'm saying? That's that's tough. You know what I mean? It's tough for Fortuna Dusseldorf having to pay his wages all that time. Well, I'm not pretty sure. I'm not sure. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? But all the best, Diego Contento. He used to be a big player, man. But now, hmm, maybe he'll go to China. Or the MLS, you never know. Next on the list is Jonathan Klaus leaving Arminia Bielefeld to Lons on a free. So he'll be leaving the second division of German football to Ligue 1 because Lons just got promoted. Arminia Bielefeld looks like they're going to get promoted to Bundesliga too. So, 
You know what I mean? Who knows? But anyways, it's a win-win situation for Jonathan Klaus. Klaus is a 27-year-old French right midfielder who joined the club in 2018 from French club Quivelli Rouen. And interestingly for Jonathan Klaus, he will be getting his first taste of top flight football when next season's Ligue 1 commences. He made a total of 60 appearances in all competitions for Armenia Bielefeld, scoring six goals and picking up 13 assists. Not a bad player. And he's going to get a big opportunity to shine on the grand stage. So all the best, Jonathan Klaus. Number six on the list, guys, is Jessic and Gankamp getting promoted from the Hertha Berlin under-19 team to Hertha's first team. He's a 19-year-old German center forward. And in the youth league, he actually had 22 appearances, scoring 11 goals, picking up 11 assists. Pretty, pretty damn impressive, if you ask me. So far, since the Bundesliga restart, he has made three appearances for the Hertha senior team, and he is a German international youth player who is also eligible to play for Cameroon. So, pick wisely, Mr. Nganckamp. He looks like a very good player, and he is definitely one to watch. Ding, 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 guys. It's the Golden Nugget, man. And I got a nice one for you. While we're still in the German Bundesliga or uh, in Germany, you realize I give you all German teams first, right? You realize that? I, I bet you didn't realize that. But anyways, Hoffenheim has parted ways with manager or former manager Alfred Schroeder with four matches to go. The former assistant to Julian Nagelsmann took over at the beginning of the 2019-20 season and after 30 games, he had 12 wins, 7 draws and 11 losses, giving Hoffenheim 43 points, taking them to 7th in the Bundesliga table. Not bad if you ask me at all. But differences in opinion were cited as the reason to dismiss the 47-year-old Dutchman who is replaced by caretaker manager Marcel Rapp. And I bet a lot of you guys didn't even know that, hence the reason why it's a golden nugget. So now that we have covered some big transfers in Germany, let's slide over to Italy. Guys, the more I do these, the better I get. So I'm breaking them up into countries now before I just did them randomly. But now we're going from Germany over to Italy. At number seven on the list, guys, we have Christopher Alskinsen leaving Starbuck in the Norwegian league for Sampdoria for 2.5 million euros. Alskinsen is a 19-year-old Norwegian central midfielder who was on loan at Sampdoria on the 19. He is a Norwegian youth international player. So all the best, he is definitely one to watch. Next on the list, guys, is Andrea Lamantia leaving Lecce to Empoli for 3.5 million euros. He's a 29-year-old Italian center forward who was on loan at Empoli in the Serie B, but they chose to make the loan deal permanent. You're going to see a lot of that happening this summer where players on loan are just going to stay at that club. We're going to see a lot of swap deals. We're going to see a lot of cut prices. It's going to be a fun transfer window. Lamantia spent the first half of the season in Syria playing for Lecce, where he made 12 appearances, only scoring two goals. He did help Lecce earn promotion last season, scoring 17 goals in Serie B and picking up eight assists. Lecce are currently reeling at 18th in Syria, fighting to stay up. It's Pretty dry in Italy this week, guys, so that would be it for the big Italian transfers. But on the topic of Andrea Lamantia, that's kind of weird, right? He just prospered in Serie B, but he just couldn't make the grade in Serie A. Went back to Serie B, he's doing okay, and you know what I mean? Empoli chose to sign him up because they know of his quality. So let's see if Empoli gets promoted to Serie A. Well, they're currently ninth. I don't think they're going to get promoted this season, so maybe next. So now we move from Italy to Spain where we have Diego Roland leaving Deportivo La Coruña to FC Juarez in the Mexican League for 4 million euros. Diego Roland is a 27-year-old Uruguayan center forward who joined Deportivo La Coruña from Bordeaux in 2018 and interestingly never made a single appearance for his parent club. He was just out there on loan. He was on loan at FC Juarez. He performed brilliantly and they chose to make his deal permanent. So I'm happy for the man. I'm very happy for him. 
Diego Roland currently has 25 caps for Uruguay and if he continues to bang him in for fun in the Mexican League, whenever that restarts, he's going to add way more caps to that 25 he already has. There's pretty stiff competition in the Uruguayan national team though, so I don't know how many more he'll get. But all the best, Roland, with your new club. Next on the list, guys, we have Jose Carlos Lazo leaving Hetafe to Udi Almeria for 4 million euros. It's a lot of money though for second division club, 4 mil. Lazo is a 27 year old Spaniard left winger who was on loan at Almeria with an option to buy, an option they actually activated. In 27 appearances for the second division team, he scored 8 goals and picked up 2 assists. Almeria currently third in the second division and Lazo is actually a former Real Madrid youth player so this might be a good investment, so keep your eye on that one. Jose Carlos Lazo. So guys, now we're going to move from Spain to the Iberian neighbors, Portugal. Next on the list, guys, we have Yoni Gonzalez leaving Benfica to Corinthians for 2.7 million euros. Gonzalez is a 25-year-old Colombian right winger who left Fluminense to Benfica for free. Benfica then loaned him back to Corinthians and the man never turned out for his parent club and they actually sold him on. They did get a player back from Corinthians who I covered in episode one. So you'll have to go back and check that out. I think his name is Pedrino though. Yoni Gonzalez is currently uncapped by Colombia, but if he continues to shine for his new club Corinthians in the Brazilian league, that shall surely change. Next on the list guys, we have Majid Juarez leaving Porto B to Strasbourg in league on for 2 million euros. Warris is a 28 year old Ghanaian center forward who was unknown at the league on club and they then chose to make the deal permanent. Like I've been saying earlier, we're going to see a lot of these deals this summer. A weird, a weird year we're having, right? 2020, one to definitely remember. Majid Warris only made eight total appearance for Porto's senior team, didn't score a single goal and they're gonna move him on. And his best years are actually behind him when he used to play for BK Hacken and FC Lorient. If you wanna see some more fun Portuguese transfers, go back and check episode one where I covered Trincao, Pedrino, and Abel Ruiz. So now we move from Portugal, guys. Let's go to Russia where a few transfer business has been going down. Number 13 on the list is Alexander Sobolev leaving KS Samara to Spartak Moscow for 4.5 million euros. Sobolev is a 23-year-old Russian center forward who was on loan at Spartak plus 500k. So if you add that, you know, you make a total of 5 million euros. I think this player is a, is a bargain. This is a great deal. In the 2019-20 Russian Premier League so far for Spartak, he made 21 appearances, scoring 10 times and picking up 6 assists. Quite impressive. Worth every single penny. He is currently uncapped by the Russian national team, but that will soon change. Ding, 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 guys. It's golden nugget time again. And the golden nugget after number 13 is Adel Rami leaving Sochi to be a free agent. This one is fun, guys, because he's a 35-year-old French center back. He moved to the club on a short-term deal back in January or February. He has been injured and didn't make a single appearance for the club. He left the Turkish club Fenerbahce on a free and that's exactly what he did at Sochi. He was there for free because he claimed he never received any compensation from the club, which is very, very, very funny for, you know, the World Cup winner. Yes, guys, remember Adil Rami was part of France's squad that won the World Cup. So he is currently looking for a new club and who knows, he might just end up in the MLS or China. Or maybe maybe Qatar, you never know. Saudi Arabia. Retirement homes, basically. So now at 14, we cover the last transfer in the Russian League. I know you're disappointed. I know you wanted me to talk about the Russian League some more. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just cover the last one from Russia. It's Benedict Hovedes leaving Lokomotiv Moscow to be a free agent. The 32-year-old German centre-back joined Lokomotiv Moscow from Schalke for 5 million euros. 
That's, that's a steal. Harvard has made a total of 50 appearances for Lokomotiv Moscow, winning a Super Cup and a Russian Cup in the process. He also won a DFB Pokal with Schalke, a Scudetto while on loan at Juventus, and a World Cup with the German national team back in 2014. The man is an absolute legend. So let's move over to France. From Russia to France with love. Let's talk about Anastasios Donis leaving Stuttgart in Germany to Reims for 4 million euros. The 23-year-old Greek striker was on loan at Reims and did not score a single goal nor pick up an assist in his 20 appearances for the club. But Reims, they actually believe in his potential and they chose to make the deal permanent. Anastasios Donis was a former Juventus youth player and he does have 11 caps for the Greek national team. Next on the list is Paul Bernardoni leaving Bordeaux for Andreas for 7.5 million euros. Bernardoni is a 23 year old French goalkeeper who was on loan at Nimes and one very important accolade that he has under his belt he won the youth Euros in 2016 with the French youth team. <laughs> that almost didn't come out, but I, I, I squeaked it out. You know what I mean? I got it out. I, I actually made it happen. Number 17, Jeremy Menes leaving Paris FC to become a free agent. He's a 33-year-old French right-winger who signed on a one-year deal last summer, but the two clubs has not made, you know, an extension to that deal. In 19 appearances, he scored five goals, picking up four assists. He is a former Club America, AC Milan, Roma, PSG, and Monaco player. He also had 24 appearances for the French national team. So he has basically fallen from grace. Just the end of his career. I'm just kidding about the falling from grace thing. But he just wanted to continue playing. He ended up at Paris FC and now he's a free agent again. So maybe he could move to Qatar. Next on the list, guys, Chadrak Akolo leaving Stuttgart in Germany to Amiens for 3.5 million euros. The 25-year-old Congolese left winger was on loan at the League One club where he made 16 appearances, scoring twice and picked up one assist, he has been capped four times by DR Congo. All the best with your new club. So from France, we're gonna move to the Netherlands for only one transfer though. And that transfer is of Crescencio Somerville leaving Feyenoord's under-19 team to their first team. So that's a good move though. That's a good move. That's what you call promoted. The 18-year-old Dutch right winger made 21 appearances so far this season with the first team scoring three goals and picking up two assists. That was actually two goals and three assists. You know, I did a swisheroo there, so my bad. He is currently a Dutch international youth player and is one to watch for the future. So remember the name, very nice name, Crescencio Somerville or Crescencio. I don't even know if I'm saying his name. I think it's Crescencio. But Somerville, Somerville, he does well in the summer. So from the Netherlands, we're going to move to England, where we're going to start this one with Pedro Kiravea leaving Liverpool to FC Nantes in Ligue 1 on a free. I'm happy for you, man. You are never, ever going to make the grade at Liverpool. Pedro Kiravea is a 23-year-old Spaniard central midfielder who made six appearances for Liverpool in the cup competitions this season. He has made one ever Premier League appearance for Liverpool throughout his career and he will move on to FC Nantes. So all the best, Pedro. You're better off over there, trust me. At number 21, we have Ezekiel Shaletto. Shaletto, is it? Is it? Shal is it? Damn. At number 21, we have Ezekiel Shaletto leaving Brighton on a free, maybe possibly to Genoa. That's where he's... At number 21, we have Ezekiel Shalato leaving Brighton on a free this summer to maybe Genoa or one of those Italian clubs. But it, rumors are saying it's going to be Genoa, so we'll just have to see. Genoa probably going to be in Serie B next season too, so not a bad way to, you know what I mean, restart your career in Italy. He has been somewhat of a journeyman and 
Let's see how this one works out. The 31 year old Italian right back joined from Sporting CP in 2017 for 3 million euros. Formerly of Inter, Atalanta, Cesena, Banfield, because he was born in Argentina and changed his citizenship, only made 31 appearances for Brighton in all competitions and was almost spat on by Wilf Zaha this season, where he only made seven appearances for the club. So that's a big chunk of, you know, the 31. So all the best, Shalato. Let's see where you end up. Next up at number 22, we have a very, very interesting one. Daniel Sinani leaving F91 Dudlong in Luxembourg to Norwich on a free. The 23-year-old left winger who hails from Luxembourg has made 30 appearances in all competitions this season. And here it is. He has scored 24 goals and picked up 8 assists. Amazing. This includes 9 goals and 3 assists in Europa League qualifying and Europa League group stage proper matches. So, the man ripped it up in the Europa League in the 2019-20 season. He is currently capped 21 times by the Luxembourg national team. And I think Norwich has just signed themselves a gem to play in the championship next season, of course. They will get relegated. Staying at Norwich, let's stay at Norwich for a while here. They have just signed Sebastian Soto from Hanover on a free. He's a 19-year-old USA striker who currently represents the USA U team. And he is one to watch. So remember the name, Sebastian Soto. A Soto. 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 Sebastian Soto. Number 24 on the list is Faustino Angerin leaving Chelsea's U team to their senior team. Okay, so that's a good promotion right there. The 18 year old Englishman plays as a central midfielder and just extended his contract to five years. So that's, that's, yo, that's some good business done by Chelsea. Just, you know what I mean, locking down these young talented players for the future. Maybe they're going to send him out on loan or keep him. They might just keep him because he made two senior appearances this season so far. So he is definitely one to watch. So let's keep an eye on him and see how well he develops. Fastino Angerin is currently an England international youth player. At number 25, guys, we have Adam Lalana leaving Liverpool at the end of the season. He did kind of extend his contract to see out, you know, the, the rest of this season because of, you know what I mean, coronavirus and all but he will still leave at the end of the Premier League season. Where to? Let's just discuss quickly where to. He's been rumored to be linked with Leicester City. You know why? He was brought from Southampton in 2014 by Brendan Rodgers, who is currently the manager of Leicester City. So, it makes sense. It makes sense. Plus, Leicester could actually lose play, uh, a player like Telemans or even a player like Ndidi. They could lose James Madison. So they will definitely need an experienced head in the middle of the field. So I could see the Adam Lalana deal actually happening. He will leave on a free. So why not? You know what I'm saying? Just pay his wages. So that's, that's an option right there. Maybe he'll join a lower table club or maybe, you know what I mean? Who knows? Maybe a Newcastle, maybe a West Ham, you never know. Maybe he'll go back to Southampton, or maybe he'll just want to go on an adventure to Italy. Maybe Inter Milan would sign him, you know what I'm saying? Juventus like to sign those kind of players, like, you know what I mean, Ramsey, Rabiot, those kind of players. But Inter, who knows, you know what I mean? Or who knows, maybe a Torino, Joe Hart did that, you know what I mean? So who knows, who knows? Or even go to the Bundesliga. But all the best to Adam Lallana, man. All the best. A 32-year-old English midfielder joined Liverpool in 2014 from Southampton for a massive sum of 31 mil. In 178 appearances, he scored 22 goals and picked up 22 assists. And maybe if he wasn't injured so much, that could have been 44 goals and 44 assists. Who knows? At this time at Liverpool, he has won the Champions League once and will definitely pick up a Premier League medal at the end of this season. Lallana has also been capped 34 times by the English national team. And i like to take the time to say all the best, Triple L. Ding, 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 ding. It's golden nugget time. It's the last transfer of this video. 
and it's gonna be the 54 year old Spanish manager, Juan Manuel Leo, joining Manchester City to become Pep Guardiola's assistant manager. And as a Manchester City fan, you could see right there, I'm very happy about this because since Mikel Arteta went to Arsenal, we're looking kind of sketchy in the back room there. So, Juanma Leo has a wealth of experience. I'm telling you, too many to name. He has managed so many Segunda Division clubs. He managed La Liga clubs. He managed in Mexico. I think he managed in Colombia. He was um, that hothead from Ch the Chilean, uh, Argentinian, who, who used to be at Civ Jorge Sampoli's assistant. He worked with Pep Guardiola before. And we have a very, very wise head in our backroom staff right about now. So let's see how things work out for Juan Malio at Manchester City. And if Pep Guardiola leaves, this guy could actually take over because he, he definitely knows what he's doing. So guys, there you have it. 25 pre-arranged contracts that will be made official, official, official as soon as June 30th hits or whenever the transfer window opens along with three golden nuggets. So I appreciate you getting to the end of this video. Make sure you go check out the first three episodes. Slap a like on the video as well. Comment down below. I know I'm asking for a lot. You know what I mean? Head on over to cardsplug.com slash Dominic Rich FC. Get yourself one of those babies over there. All the links would be in the description box down below. Use the coupon code Dominic Rich to get yourself 15% off. So until my next video, thanks for watching. Until next time, peace out, Rich Squad.